The Malcolm Stakes is race two. This is a five furlong group, three for two year olds. And uh, a small feel for this one. Which seems to be the way with quite a lot of two year old races this season. Maybe we haven't got so many two year olds as normal. We've got a field of five intergenerational Joshua Sutherland, Zing Tai Search, Vinnie Gerard, Humbell Troubles, and Lessons Bavard for James Shea. And there she goes for Derek Hinton. A field of five, all guaranteed. To pick up some prize money and away they go. And the James Shea pair look like they're going to take it up, but that wouldn't be right for James Shea also to be in the lead. They come with a rattle at the end, and now it's Derek Hinton's there she goes that's gone on. The only grey in the field, leading by about a length and a half to Inspir Intergenerational in the second, then Zing Tai Search is third, and then Lessons Bavard and Humbell Troubles. There's no more than four lengths between the whole field. They're past the three pole already, and there she goes, is in the lead from Lessons Bavard and Zing Tai Search, then Nose Band Intergenerational on the inside. The back marker, Humbell Troubles. It's still just Derek Hinton's horse in front. There she goes from Lessons Bavard in second. These two are clear of Zing Tai Search and Intergenerational Humbell Troubles. He's just finding the pace a bit hot there inside the final furlong, and now it's Lessons Bavard who pokes its head in front. Lessons Bavard from there she goes between the two of them. Zing Tai Search into Generation is going to need to get up soon, but it's going to be Lessons Bavard who's going to take it. Lessons Bavard wins it. I guess they never really got going at all, did it? And James Shane's had quite a few wins this season, but he has had many that have been in the front two all the way. And Lessons Bavard is one there. Oh, James Shane, there she goes, second for. Derek Hinton, Vinnie Gerard was third with Zing Tai Search and Intergenerational for Joshua Sutherland fourth, carrying those whopping great penalties, which of course they wouldn't really carry in real life, because those horses wouldn't be entered in this race. They'd be running in a pre morning or something on day three. They wouldn't be running in a group three and Goodwood carrying a £12 penalty.